Hi there, and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend for the rest of 2023 and the first week or so of 2024. First of all, let's set the scene. This is how it's looking as we begin Thursday. And what you'll notice is a marked temperature contrast across parts of Europe. Relatively mild air to the south, relatively cold air to the north. Nothing unusual about that. But the UK is on the boundary between that mild and cold air. And it will continue to be that way for the next 10 days or so. That's the prevailing theme through this forecast. Of course, where would that boundary exist? We've also got the jet stream, the jet stream pushing Storm Gerrit away over the next few days. It's still nearby on Thursday, but it's weakening. And so still a blustery day, but not as windy as Wednesday. That breeze coming from the west or southwest across much of the UK, but still a northerly influence into Scotland. That's where the cold air is. That's where there will continue to be some hill snow, rain at lower levels. And really, it's a showery picture for many of us on Thursday afternoon. Some longer spells of rain where we've got some old occluded fronts moving through northern Scotland and later in the day for parts of south and southeast England. Some heavy rain moving through here. Gusty winds, 50 mile per hour wind gusts in places. But as I mentioned, not as windy as Wednesday. In between the rain and showers, some brighter spells, mild in the south, colder for Scotland. Then into Thursday night, the rain and showers in the south tend to ease. They become restricted to western coast. We'll continue to see outbreaks of rain and showers for Northern England, Northern Ireland and for much of Scotland, again with some hill snow and a touch of frost where there is some shelter from the wind in Scotland. But enough of a breeze elsewhere so that we start off Friday frost-free, albeit still with some sunny spells for the Midlands, East Anglia, the South, as well as North East England. But we've got this occluded front moving through Northern Ireland and Northern England through the day on Friday. That will bring some longer spells of rain, some large rainfall accumulations building up across Scotland, as well as Northern England, over the hills primarily. And as that system moves south, there'll be some showers for, for Wales, for the south and southwest of England as well as continued showers for northern Scotland. Again, some hill snow associated with this with rain at lower levels. Feeling cold across Scotland and actually for Northern Ireland, Northern England, temperatures of six to eight Celsius, a bit colder than recent days. Still in the double figures in the south on Friday, but not quite as mild as it has been. Not quite as windy either and a greater chance of some sunshine coming through. So a fairer day compared with recent days, but watch out for those showers. Now, Storm Gerrit is moving away by this stage, but another low is forming out in the Atlantic, again picked up by a powerful jet stream and deepening rapidly as it approaches Ireland and the UK during Friday night and into Saturday. You can see increasing isobars into the centre of that low, so uh, a deepening feature. It finishes its deepening phase before it reaches the UK and Ireland, but nevertheless, it is going to be a powerful system and it's likely to bring the strongest winds to Ireland. So these are the wind gusts expected as we start off Saturday. And as you can see, exceeding 70 miles an hour for Ireland, but exceeding 60 miles an hour across parts of Western Scotland, Irish Sea Coast, for example. So blustery start to the weekend. Strong winds, gales in places, especially in the west early on and then increasingly across the south coast and then eventually northern Scotland by the end of Saturday. So that will need watching and uh, it will also bring some heavy rain. Similar areas affected by the heavy rain on Saturday compared with Storm Gerrit. Here it is running through again on Saturday, 1am this starts off and uh, what you can see is that this system brings some milder air in but it bumps into colder air in place across the UK. So the recipe there once again for some substantial snow over northern hills predominantly. It will be over hills and it's going to be rain at lower levels but nevertheless for the Pennines initially perhaps first thing for the Welsh mountains as well before the mild air arrives. And then during the morning on Saturday for the Pennines before again the milder air replaces the colder air and it turns to rain. But across Scotland certainly over the southern uplands and then into the highlands and Grampians some very significant snow building up through Saturday 20 centimetres plus over the tops of the mountains. So once again some treacherous conditions with the wind, rain and hill snow to contend with on Saturday, a tricky day for traveling in many places, certainly. And it's going to be, again, marked temperature contrasts across the UK. So double figures in the south, 
albeit with that strong wind and the rain, it's not going to feel very mild. And then further north, we're in the mid single figures, lower than that over upland parts where it's snowing through the day. But into the uh, rest of the weekend, really, that low pressure does gradually fill. It remains close to the UK so that on New Year's Eve, well, this is how it's looking. That low pressure centred somewhere over northern parts of the UK and it's going to continue to bring unsettled conditions. Now, the more persistent spells of rain will be mostly affecting the Northern Isles at this stage. That's where these weather fronts will be lingering. Elsewhere, it's generally showery stuff, but still a blustery breeze. But really, if you've got plans on New Year's Eve, whether it's during the daytime or into the evening, expect showers. Those showers will predominantly affect northern and western parts of the UK, but there will be some clearer spells in between and the showers will be carried through on a blustery wind as well, but the wind won't be quite as strong as Saturday. However, by this stage, there are differences emerging in the computer models. Now, the differences relate to the position of this area of low pressure, whether it's centred over northern parts of the UK, as per this example, or whether it's pushed further east more quickly. And if it does, on New Year's Eve, push further east into the North Sea more quickly, we get colder air arriving on the western flank of that low, and there's a greater chance that those showers will be falling as snow, mostly over northern hills, but uh, the potential, if we get enough colder air, that we'll see some of those snow showers coming down to lower levels. That's the less preferred solution. This is the more likely scenario on New Year's Eve. The low pressure centred over northern parts of the UK, bringing clear spells and showers. But those differences amplify as we start off 2024. And this is as the clock strikes midnight on New Year's Eve night, going into New Year's Day. And we don't just run the computer model once, we run it many times. This is uh, the output from the Met Office Ensemble uh, computer model runs. And it shows 17 different ideas for where that low pressure will be. But Broadly, there are two camps. One camp showing the low pressure centred over northern parts of the UK. So showery, yes, but not particularly cold. Another camp showing the low pressure in the North Sea with more of a northerly feed. And uh, roughly, those two camps are equal, but one is slightly more likely than the other. And that is that as we begin 2024, so on Monday and Tuesday, we'll see low pressure somewhere over northern parts of the UK, a dip in the jet stream, 60% probability that it will be showery. Interspersed by brighter spells, yes, but showery. And most of those showers will be falling as rain, but of course there'll be some hill snow over Scotland and perhaps the Pennines as well. That's slightly more likely than the other scenario for Monday and Tuesday, which has the low pressure in the North Sea and more of a northerly airflow. And in this scenario, we'd certainly see some hill snow falling with these showers, especially across northern and northeastern parts of the UK. Could even see some snow down to lower levels in the northeast if we get enough cold air coming around the back of that low pressure. And an even smaller chance, and this is showing up in a minority of computer model output, that another area of low pressure will move up from the southwest with that cold air in place, bringing outbreaks of rain but turning to snow across the south and southwest during the first couple of days of 2024. But that really is a low probability, less than 40%, say 10, 20% chance. So. The most likely is that it will be business as usual, low pressure close to the north, uh, rain showers for many interspersed by bright spells, slightly lower chance that it will be colder with some hill snow or snow to low levels in the north and northeast, and an even lower probability that there will be something wintry turning up towards the south and southwest. And these differences in the computer models are unlikely to be resolved for a couple of days or so because they're to do with how amplified the jet stream becomes later this week, of course. We'll keep it dated right here at the Met Office. Beyond that, what happens? Well, similar weather patterns prevail for the rest of next week. That is, we'll continue to see the UK sitting on that mild cold boundary with the jet stream somewhere in between. And the jet stream continuing to bring us areas of low pressure. Sometimes those low pressure systems will bring us wet and windy weather and milder conditions to the south, for example, in this weather pattern here. And other times those low pressure systems will move through and we'll get colder northerly winds with some wintry showers mostly across northern parts of the UK, especially over hills. So there'll be this continued oscillation with the UK sitting on the mild cold boundary 
and low pressure moving through. Will low pressure continue to dominate for the first few weeks of 2024? That's the big question because, of course, it has been so dominant during the last few weeks and months. Well, this would suggest not. Now, this shows the most likely weather patterns color-coded up for each day going out to the next couple of weeks or so. Roughly speaking, the blues indicate weather patterns where low pressure is close to the UK, whereas the reds and oranges indicate higher pressure, more influential on the UK's weather. And this would suggest from the output from the Met Office model, the European model and the American model, that higher pressure becomes more likely later next week and into the second week of January. That would lead to a greater chance of drier and possibly colder weather developing. But of course, that's a long way off. And how cold it would be, whether it would just be frost or snow and ice that we're talking about, would entirely depend on the position of any high pressure that was influencing the UK's weather at the time. And we'll have more detail on that in the next few days and weeks. Make sure you subscribe to YouTube, uh, make it a New Year's resolution so that you never miss one of these updates. Bye-bye.